morning guys happy monday i am on my way to the gym this morning I actually just uploaded a new vlog this morning so i don't know what's gone into me or why i'm filming another one because that's so unlike me but oh this coming weekend is easter weekend so i've got a couple little errands and appointments before we go to noosa for the weekend so i don't know it'd be, i thought it'd be fun to do like another vlog this week I just got back from the gym and I also popped into the um, to the Coles to Coles quickly I kind of just like get stuff as I go to be honest um, so I got some bananas these will last me maybe until the end of the week who knows I don't know I don't like wasting food so I prefer to just go to the shops after the gym and grab what I know I actually need I got two pieces of fish for tonight and tomorrow night and then maybe Wednesday I'll have like steak or something I don't know some broccolini I got some new rubber gloves for washing because mine has a hole in it, so I have to throw it out. Some chicken mince. I need to film more what I eat in a day soon. Um, some gum, some bin bags. Also, I just got some apple because I love apples. I love grapes too, but these ones look really good. So I got these. Wow, that's hurting my arm. I am obsessed with making protein coffee, guys. Like, it is just the highlight of my morning. If you haven't tried protein coffee before, you need to. Because it is a game changer and it's a great way to get extra protein in. No, my hair needs a brush. It's been needing a brush all day. I've just got a couple of other little errands to run. I've got to go to DHL, to the post office. I'm going to drop James's meals off on the way because it's on the way to... DHL, his office. And then literally for the rest of the day, I'm just going to edit the mukbang that I filmed last week. I'm going to plan out my content. I'm either going to do it tomorrow or Wednesday. I actually had more packages at the post office than I thought. I thought I only had one there, but turns out I had four. I prefer standing up for this. I know, sorry. I know some people like seeing my face, um, but it's just so much easier to stand up. Okay. First up we have Opoly. I'm going to open this one first because I'm most excited for it. I've got this grey little crop right here. And then I've got the matching little shorts. They're really nice and stretchy too, which is great. Lastly, I've also got the jumpsuit version. This is coming in cream and black as well. So I think I might have to pick those two up, especially the cream one. Because this is so nice. It is a little bit short, but I feel like with a like, throw over the top, it'll look really nice. From White Fox. Um, they just sent me some new swimmers by the looks of it. This is the material close up. It's a cute little brown triangle set. I'm not going to open that up though. All right, this one I have a feeling is from DHD, but I'm not too sure. It doesn't actually say. Oh, yay! Oh my god. They sent me the new duet styler, which is super exciting. Went to their launch event for this. They sent me one, which is really nice. I can't wait to try that out. Hopefully, I love it because this would be great to bring to Europe. It's like a straightener and a hairdryer in one. So 
Thank you so much EHE for that. I'm so excited. Oh my god. So I've got a package here from Baddest Bod. If you guys didn't know, Baddest Bod is White Fox's tanning brand. Ooh, this is so cute. I actually don't use fake tan unless it's like winter and I haven't been in the sun much, which even in winter I do still go out in the sun. I feel like on the Gold Coast you can still get a tan in winter, but how cute is this bag? I'm actually going to use this as a makeup bag, so love that for me. But they just sent me the new tan, um, some tanning gloves, and also I've actually seen everyone posting this recently. So I was a little bit jealous, but I'm glad that I have it now. They sent me this little romper too, which I would just wear this around the house. They sent it in a size extra small, which is perfect. Thank you so much, Baddest Bod, for sending that across. And lastly, I've got a package here from Amazon, which these are just the um, chlorophyll drops that I ordered, which I think I mentioned in my last vlog. These ones took a little bit longer to come because I think they came from America. But yeah, I just got some liquid chlorophyll. Says extra th it says extra strength. I've heard a lot of great things about this. It says shake well before use. Use as, diet use as a dietary supplement. Take 15 drops one to three times per day. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not having this three times a day. I'll have it once in the morning. Cleanses and detoxifies. It's an energy booster and it improves skin health. That's everything that I got. This is the mess that I've created. And also look at my makeshift tripod situation that we have here i've just been editing my mukbang which would have gone up um before this video i've had lunch and everything but i'm just about to have a little afternoon snack now what time is it it's it's 3 50 so by this time i do need a little bit of a pick me up i feel like i've gotten like a decent amount of things on today so i'm really happy i love when i have really productive days having this chobani fit 15 gram protein yogurt i just put on some frozen mixed berries on top just grab like a handful i think blueberries are my favorite frozen fruit so next time i'm just gonna get just blueberries i think Especially with this yogurt, I find that it tastes so nice. And then I just grab some honey and I put this on top. Because I have a really big sweet tooth. And this kind of helps to curb my, or satisfy my cravings, I should say. Yeah, that's my, well, one of my favorite snacks at the moment. Also, I just pulled out the steak that I ordered from Coles when I did my click and collect over the weekend and they literally i asked for three pieces of steak and they gave me like two kind of smallish pieces and then a really really small piece so this is only going to be enough for james for like two nights and he's not having any carbs for dinner either so i honestly feel like even this isn't going to be enough like this is only 450 grams of meat let's try my yogurt mm. Oh, my teeth. I'm not really into this yogurt on its own. It's definitely like very Greek yogurt vibes. I'm not into Greek yogurt. This is Greek yogurt. But it just adds that like a little bit more sweetness. I don't know. I feel like Greek yogurt kind of tastes like off milk. Maybe it's just me. Okay guys, wow, I need to eat so bad, but that's gonna have to wait. I'm making some fish 
for dinner. I bought two quite large pieces of fish today when I was at Coles. And I've just cut one up into four pieces. I'm gonna fry it up. I've got some broccoli, broccolini, sorry, here. And also some leftover mashed potatoes from James's lunch of the week. Literally like the tiniest bit, but I'm gonna eat it because I don't wanna waste it. I was gonna make like a creamy kind of sauce, but I don't know, I'm not really feeling like cream tonight. Maybe tomorrow night I'll do that. So I think I'm just gonna do like a brown butter lemon kind of sauce. Got my broccolini here. I'm just going to spray some olive oil on it, a bit of salt and a bit of pepper and that's how I like to eat my broccolini. I got two big pieces of fish, so I get like four, sorry, eight small pieces and I paid like, how much did I pay? $7 for two big pieces or eight little pieces, which is really quite good. I just got this lemon pepper seasoning the other week. I'm just gonna dust a little bit on top. And here is dinner guys. I just had to grab my Kokiro, of course, cause I can't eat a big meal without that. So here's my dinner. I had a little bit of the fish. It tastes so freaking good. Morning guys. I'm just about to head out the door. I'm gonna meet Sophia at Pack Fair. Um, and we're going to get our toes done together. But before I leave, I wanted to show you guys my outfit real quick. I literally just chucked like random bits on and I actually think it looks really cute. If I don't say so myself. This jumpsuit is from Opoly. I love like the sleeves. I don't know why. The button up shirt that I'm wearing is from Zara. I just felt really like exposed with the jumpsuit on its own. And then my shoes are my Louis Vuitton pool sides. And this is the bag. I'm wearing my everyday bag. But yeah, as I said, I'm meeting Sophia at Pack Fair and then I need to get a couple things from Kmart as well so that I'm getting my nails fixed. So I've got three nails missing on one hand and one nail missing on the other hand and it's can't be doing content tomorrow in that state. I'm in my car waiting for Sophia because she's late. I'm kidding, she's, she's got, well, it's 12 o'clock on the dot now. All right, she actually just messaged me saying she just parked. She's walking to Sephora now. So I'm gonna go meet up with her. Welcome to our Tuesday. Pretty cool time. Like I kinda want to use that for makeup because you can see at the top. But that one's just like a pair of drawers. Yeah. <laughs> so probably not. This one's not bad. But it is Yeah, cute. I do like that you can see it on top. Yeah. My toes are done. It's 1.30, so I'm very early for my appointment. I actually probably should have got like a boost juice or something. As you guys saw, we also put in a Kmart. And I just got a couple of things to brew. But I also wanted to show you guys this little jewelry holder store thing that I thought was cute. And it was only $6, which I think is a really great price for this. I mean, it's not... The best quality to be honest it's pretty light but i don't know i thought this would be nice either in my bathroom or next to my bed to put like my rings and my necklaces on i do have one right now that's tiny and when i put like my necklaces and stuff on it it just all gets tangled so yeah i feel like this is good and when i also get more jewelry in the future i don't know it was super cheap but i thought i'd show you guys i love like the textured look of it as well I'm actually pretty hungry right now i'm not even gonna lie it's 1 30 and i haven't had lunch or anything yet maybe i'll stop by somewhere on the way i just went and got some sushi on the way i got a tuna roll and a chicken and avo and just some soy sauce for my tuna i don't actually know what i want to do on my nails today i'm so hungry this color is really nice i rate that chicken and avo like Six out of ten. Their tuna sushi there is so good though. Mmm. Do you know what it is? It's because they put spring onions in there. So good. It was so busy in there too. Why am I getting full already now? I haven't even had to.
Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. Um, I'm not gonna take you guys to the gym with me this morning, not that I can even film anything anyway. I'm gonna take my chlorophyll for the first time. So I wanna do like a bit of a taste test with you guys because I'm kinda scared. I'm pretty sure it's like green, isn't it? Shake well before use, use as a dietary, dietary, use as a dietary supplement. Take 15 drops one to three times per day mixed with water. Oh, it stinks, bro. What do people mean? It doesn't taste like anything, it stinks. Two, three, four. I'm scared. It literally smells like toilet water. Oh. That's actually not so bad. I'm going to add a little bit more water in. It does taste like a little bit. I can definitely taste it a little bit, but not heaps i did actually just order some greens powder from naked harvest um and i used ali's code so thanks ali i'm gonna have it with that instead of the oxy shred in the morning um and then at least i can have it in the afternoon when i've had some food in me apparently i don't know if it works better when you have food in you but i don't know some people like to take it with food i don't think it really matters but anyways i'm gonna head to the gym um, and then I'll just see you guys when I'm getting ready for content. I'm back from the gym, obviously. I just did my makeup. I wanted to do like lighter makeup on my base today and then do like more of a wing liner and just my same lashes and then not much on my eyes in terms of color. And I feel like I really like how it looks. I just need to film like four TikToks today and a reel and also a photo for White Fox. And also I did heatless curls on my hair last night and They've already dropped, so I'm just like touching up big chunks of my hair with an actual curler. I've only done heatless curls. This is like my third time doing it. So I'm really just like trying to figure out what works best for me. I'm still practicing, but I feel like they hold a lot better when you wet your hair a little bit beforehand. Not like sopping wet, but oh yeah, I don't know. I feel like it just looks better overall when you do that. My hair has actually grown so much since I stopped bleaching it. It's only been a couple months and like, that's so long now, it was literally like up to here before. So it's crazy. And I actually thought that we were putting color in my hair this whole time, but we've actually just been using a dark toner, which is even better for my hair, obviously, because the chemicals aren't as strong. And it also means that if I ever want to go back blonde, then it's not going to be as damaging on my hair. To be honest, I'm just glad that my hair is like, looking so much better now because it honestly sucks especially when you're like doing content all the time when your hair's all broken like at one stage some pieces are literally up to here and let's just say like if the wind came while i was getting content those little parts would just fly up and my hair would just look yeah not it hey right, i'm gonna brush these out in a bit um, I still need to do my lips. I'm gonna do that now real quick. Honestly though guys, I'm so glad that I got my lips tattooed and my brows because it literally just saves me so much time in the morning. Like I don't need to do anything to my brows. I could just walk out the door. Don't need to do anything to my face and I look presentable. And it also means I don't need to get my brows like tinted and waxed all the time. I just like pluck when it starts growing back, cause that shape's already there. I know I'm not gonna like over pluck or anything. I'm just gonna add a little bit of lipstick in the middle. And also in case anyone's wondering, I use the Doll Beauty Come To Mama lipstick just in the center and Morphe Sweet Tea is my lip liner. And yeah, there we have it. I've finished the TikToks that I needed to film. I've packed my bag with some um, extra makeup and the other outfit that I'm gonna wear later. Should I bring? I'm trying to decide if I want to bring clip with me, but I feel like I don't. Maybe I will just in case. It doesn't hurt. I'll just bring like a black clip. Got my hairbrush. I need to bring my camera tripod as well because I think I'm just going to get her to set up the tripod and then film me off my camera for there for the reel. I've got on that Opoly jumpsuit that I showed you guys the other day when I did my unboxing. The fit is honestly incredible. I'm going to show you guys in a sec. I do wish it was a little bit longer because it is a little bit short for me. But when I actually do wear this out, you guys will kind of see what I mean. I'll probably just put like a 
button up long sleeve shirt over it. Sorry if that was really wobbly, but yeah, this is what it looks like on. It's just such a nice fit. I'm wearing a size UK six and I just love this detailing here. I'm just wearing my Yeezys and my YSL bag, which I haven't worn in ages. Do that to you. Um, we did the first thing I had to do, which was the reel. Um, so I'll insert a bit of the footage from that, but it's going to be like portrait, obviously, because you have to film reels on portrait. But now we're going to Justin Lane, and I'm going to get a photo in this White Fox set that just um, came back in stock. It was out of stock for ages, and I wanted to get a pick in it, but it was out of stock, so now I can. But yeah, the weather's gone like really shit. It's like super cloudy, but it's fine. We'll make it work. It's like, I really can't see. I'm sweating. <laughs> I feel like if one big gust of wind comes, my hair's gonna fall out. Yeah, I think so too. But it should be fine. <laughs> Oh, it looks secure. It's just this part here. It was like kind yeah. of sticky. That looks good, I think. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Guys, my hair looks so bad. I need to fix it. Oh. Just got some meatballs that I've already started eating. They're pretty good. A bit salty, but they're good. Morning guys, it's actually 12.30, so it's not really morning, but I, oh, I'm just about to pull up to Tasha's house. She's just going to put some toner in my hair, just like the top section real quick, because she's getting super light, and we're going to Noosa tomorrow morning, and I'm not getting my hair done for another couple weeks, so I just need to like quickly, you know, top it up a little bit. Um, there's someone like, all right, they've got the mowers here today. Actually, it was just like cleaning this morning. Took Brew for a walk because I didn't train, so I thought it'd be good to just take her out of the house and get a few steps in. And then, yeah, I was just cleaning because Sophia is staying at my house to look after Brew, so I wanted to make sure that it's all good for her. Okay guys, that's all done now. Um, you guys can probably tell, but she just made the top part darker here because it was getting super light. But yeah, it looks so good, nice and fresh. It's on my way to uh, Dress by Jazz, her studio now, because okay, I'm really sick of my camera doing that. I'm gonna try on some outfits for, um, what's going on here? For um, a wedding that I'm going to next month. Yeah, I need an outfit for the church. Um, so I'm going to try a few different options on. There's also a gown that I wanted to try on, but I don't think I'm going to wear it. It's a bit extra for the reception, but we'll see. Guys, I am so frazzled right now. I got home after all those like little errands I had to do to th this afternoon at like 4, 4.30 and then I had a nap. Usually when I have naps in the afternoon now, I set an alarm for like 30 minutes and I just completely forgot. 
I had the worst nightmare. I was wake up. Uh, I was waking up. I woke up sweating. So that's not the vibes that we're going for. Um, but anyways, we're awake now. It's six o'clock. I slept for like an hour, I think. I picked up some packages from the post office. I've actually got three here and I'm going to start packing. So I want to open these first just to see what's in here before I finish planning for my outfits. The outfits are always the hardest part of the packing because I have to put everything together, um, think about what the weather is going to be like, all that kind of thing. I've got this one here from White Fox, which they only sent yesterday and it came to me today, which is amazing. Oh, stunning. I feel like this one's going to come with me. So everything that I kind of chose was for the trip. I absolutely loved this piece. It like ties up at the front. It doesn't really look that good off, but I think I'll bring this. And then I've got this gorge red ruffly mesh dress with a low back. I also got it in the green color as well, which I could wear tomorrow night actually so maybe i'll bring this i don't know i've also got this black jumpsuit right here which just ties up around your neck i might actually wear this to noosa tomorrow button up shirt over the top we have these pants that i have in every single color now they're just really nice like beach pants they look huge but you tie them in really tight and I just love them. They're so comfy. And then I got this top to match it. I actually got two tops. Really nice. It's got like lace cups. I also got this top as like another option. But yeah, that's everything I got from White Fox. Now let's move on to Saski. She literally sent me so much stuff. I'm going to bring one active wear set with me to Noosa. I don't actually know how much we're going to be training and I can just rewear it. She sent me these khaki leggings. Pretty sure they're the same material as the yellow set that I was wearing at the start of this video. She also just sent me this basic kind of sports bra. It looks tiny, but I think it should be fine. Next, we have these cream scrunch leggings. This is the matching top she sent me. God, I don't know which one I want to bring now. She also sent me the nude. I'm more of a leggings girl over a short skirt, and I never thought I'd say that, but I definitely am. And just that same top I showed you guys before in the nude. Pink scrunch leggings with a pink top, the same one as the cream one that I showed you guys. These here. I don't know, maybe I'll bring the pink and the nude. Last day I bought a package here from a brand called JW Pay, P E I. I don't know how you say it, but I literally always get sponsored ads from them. Like for months, I have been getting sponsored ads from this place and I've actually always loved their bag. So I was like, fuck it, you know what? I'm going to get it. I actually need a silver bag. This is the brand. I think it came from like China or something. Oh, this is actually cute as hell. No, what do you mean? Okay, slay. I love this. It's actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. can't really wear it on your sh I mean, you can. It's just like a bit uncomfortable looking. But like for a peek, you could... Looks like there's going to be heaps of room inside. So very happy with that. They even give you a little dust bag. Guys, I freaking love this dress so much. It's a little bit side booby, but I don't know, you can't really tell. I wouldn't wear it like out to dinner or anything. Maybe just to breakfast or something. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to get really tan this weekend because it's going to be super sunny. So this will just look even better when my tan's popping, you know. The color is gorgeous and I actually never wear colors like this. And I feel like it's making my hair stand out even more, which is fab. This is actually giving. The pants like, all right, some people might say they look like pajama pants. But I actually really love them and I love that you can wear them low waist or high waist if you want. This top just looks so good with it as well. I did go up to a size 8 or a size small in this. Um, and I'm glad I did. It's just nice and comfy. Like it's not too tight anywhere. Obviously if I got the 6 it would be like snatching me like that. Which would also be great. I wouldn't be complaining. But this is just more comfy. I have another sleigh. This fits so nicely. Probably will wear this one to Noosa tomorrow. Just with like a black button up shirt over the top. This is so freaking cute. What do you actually mean? I'll definitely bring this with me for one of the dinners. I'm tempted to even wear it to Easter lunch. 
just so nice and flowy and girly. I love the color, it's so different. I don't think I've ever worn this kind of color, but I actually love it on me. All right, so pretty much everything that I bought is coming with me, um, minus the red dress, because obviously I'm gonna bring this and I don't really need to bring the second color, but so freaking nice. This would even be cute for Europe, like it's so nice.